Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's a nice, beautiful Friday outside. I just got off of work for the week, so of course I'm enjoying a few beers. Or for YouTube, this is pop. No, it's beer. Um, I wanted a little bit of talking. Uh, so we got a little bit of leaks today. Uh, a little bit of preview for the uh, for the new set coming out, King's Court. Uh, this is one people have been talking about hyping up like big time for like the past like at least few months. Uh, I know I've you know got John over to House of Champs. Yeah, this has got to be the next the next Toon Chaos, right? Look, it says the word Magician Souls in bold. It's got to be it's got to be huge. Well, I got to see the set list. <laughs> yeah, pain. Um, we're We'll go through it. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, about what we see in it and, and, and what uh, we've got for our cards list. Um, obviously, for anybody who's not super aware of this set or kind of, uh, you know, just feed into the hype, didn't really, you know, uh, look too much into it. So basically, this is another, I call it a Toon Chaos format set where basically when you buy the when you buy a pack, it's seven cards in a pack. Uh, there's no commons whatsoever. It's all rares. And then you get one foil card as your rare slot. Um and of course, with these ones, you can get your collectors, excuse me, collectors' rarest cards. Um, so, obviously, people when when we got this, whenever Konami kind of revealed it, you know, we were getting super hyped because, oh, we get a bunch of cool the the King's Knight and Queen's Knight and support for that. So, you know, big nostalgia, big buff. Maybe that'll become like a tier zero deck. Oh my god, right? So people, of course, bought all these cards out. Oh my god, sorry for the hiccups. And then, of course, we saw this Joker's Knight, a monster similar to Magician Souls. And look at that bold Magician Souls. That reprint's got to come, right? We got to get a reprint of it at some point. We didn't. Um, and, and yeah, so obviously that was a big thing. Uh, of course, we had Slife of the Sky Dragon. So you, you power up your new Egyptian God structure deck, which, of course, weren't very good either. Um, that's the structure. This, you know, these are the cards that add to that structure, right? Um, so anyways, without further ado, without further, uh, you know, wasting time and rambling like I usually generally do, let's go into the card list. Thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh! Database. So obviously this is going to drop in, well, like two weeks-ish time. I think, uh, the official tournament store date is, like, July 7th. Uh, so we're going to go a few, a few, few of the cards. So obviously I'm not going to go through every single one. We'll, we'll kind of, you know, <laughs> that ever had revenue money's got to come from somewhere, right? Um... But yeah, so this is obviously like the big boss monster of the set, the Arcana Triumph Joker. Um, so basically, if it's in your hand or graveyard, you can send one of the Queen's Kings, you know, one of the Face Knights um, from my hand or, or, you know, on the field to the graveyard uh, and special summon that card. So 500 times a canine number of cards in both players' hands. So this is kind of like a weird slifer thing with like less power, but like, yeah. Um can discard one card, destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls of the same type. Uh, what is cool about this card um, is it's non-targeting removal, so uh, not bad for, for certain situations. I mean, pretty resource-heavy to get there. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think it's too bad. I'd actually like to build a deck around this. I think it'd be kind of fun to build a deck. Uh, you've got Joker's Knight, which is like, you know, the the, the next part of the uh, your Queen Jack Jokers. Basically, you can special summon that from punching one of the one of the original three to the graveyard and special summon it. Um, and then uh, it, be, it it retains one of those guys' names. So obviously, to use it for material for fusion and things like that or whatever. Um, and yeah, I guess you can just keep recycling this card basically over and over again. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, Imperial Bower, basically just a... Uh, you know, just an engine for this deck. So, uh, again, really restricted, really weird. If you control it, the monster contribute, and then you can uh, either special summon or add these cards to your hand. I think it is. Yeah, add add or special summon one of the again. I well, for the sake of this video, we'll call them the three, the the big three, the face three, whatever you're gonna call them, the original three. Um, so yeah, you can, you know, pretty much use those as an engine to uh, to to start kind of turboing everything out. Not super terribly exciting off the get go. These aren't, you know. I'm still gonna build it. I still want to open. Like I'm still gonna buy a box and open this because I still kind of want to do that and open it. You know, make a deck maybe. Um, but yeah, these are uh, these are like structure deck tier cards. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, what do we have? A Joker straight. So again, you can summon one of the big three from your deck. 
or no, sorry, special summon one, one queen from the deck, and then the other two you, you can add one from your deck to your hand. So again, just getting getting those cards quick, which I mean, you know what? I will say that the very least, these cards have a good way to, to retrieve those cards and recycle them. Um, so you know, I don't think the resource management is actually terrible for a for a strategy like this. To be honest, with you. the boss monster though, okay, that's not a good win. That's not a good win condition. Uh, face card fusion. So this is what I actually, when I did see it, I, I saw a spoiler about this earlier and I wanted to, uh, I, I was kind of thinking about it. So basically fusion summon one light warrior fusion monster. I'm using monsters from hand or field. If you have one of the big three, you can use one, one monster from your deck. Is there a way to abuse that? Is there any good like light warriors that are not like one of the Joker face card fusion monsters uh, that you could like cheat out with this? Cause I feel like you could like cheat this. In, in some way, shape, or form, right? Um, like, literally, like, you get yourself a, I don't know, like a, like a Joker's Knight, basically, right? So grab that to your hand, special summon it out, use face card, turbo it, something like, cool. Um, yeah, that's just something to think about. So anyways, we won't go too far here. So next one, Dream Manor Battle Phase, normal summon one level 10 monster, or if you control one of these guys, you... So you can add one level 10 non-dark monster with question. So I think this is supposed to be for Slife for the Sky Dragon. Obviously, it's supposed to, like, you know, queens queens in the Slifer, basically, kind of deal. Um, but again, not really that great because you still have to normal summon it out. So it's not like... I don't know. It, that's not that good. <laughs> Maybe you can prove me wrong in this one, but that doesn't sound like super crazy. I guess it's a quick play, so I mean, if you want to like turbo out like, you know, the boss monster or like Slifer or something like that, that'd be kind of cool, but like, eh. Uh, so just more more cards for support for that. So again, I'm not going to go through too much of all these here. Uh, I like to actually go through some of the other, the other meat here. Uh, Golden Eyes Idol was one I picked up that I saw was kind of interesting. So, um, obviously, by the way, lots of nostalgia reprints, like the XYZ Dragon Cannon and stuff. Like, that's kind of funny. But Golden Eyes Idol, pretty cool. So, uh, kind of just an upgraded version of, like, your Millennium Eyes and your Thousand Eyes kind of deal. Just another retrain of this. Um, but, uh, you know, more support for, like, they're really pumping this the nostalgia decks out here, if you couldn't, uh, if you couldn't tell already. Um... That, this is a big one here. So this is, I think, one people actually started to talk about when they saw the uh, the leaks, the uh, Utopic Draco Future. Um, so obviously, uh, you can Z summon using Utopic Future. Uh, and then, obviously, yeah. And, you know, gets a little bit of protection, so that's cool. Uh, and what is cool, though, it does, it is a, you know, you do get a couple negates off of this, um, which is nice. So, uh, you know, a nice little multi-negate. You know, mini boss monster, if you will. Not actually. That's probably one of the better cards in the set. Actually, if we're gonna talk like decent, like actual possible meta cards, that's probably it. Uh, guilty Gear Gearfried. So obviously, Guilty and Gearfried supposed to be kind of the whatever. I didn't look at this one yet. So I'm gonna card check that actually touches the card. So just targeting, negating. That's not super crazy. Kind of cool, but uh, yeah. Again, not uh, this isn't it. <laughs> isn't isn't uh isn't game breaking unless you can like i don't know manage to like up the defense of this huge and like buff this i don't know and then we get some more other stuff i think there's a lot of reprints in here so uh like galaxy eye stuff like just a bunch of random nonsense in here this card is not good like and of course there's your reprints of the three the reprint of the fusion the arcana extra joker i mean kind of a right for a link but like Again, this is just something for you to like build a deck off of. Um, yeah, like destroyed by like like even its ignition or it's not it's floating effect is destroyed by battle. Ugh. Like ugh. like okay yeah special summon one level four warrior lor normal monster like that's that is not that that takes so much effort to not even get that like that much out of it like a couple of resources. But like I don't know, I just this is not not good. I'm really disappointed in this in this strategy. Uh, they could have done Konami could have done something really good with this, and they just they just didn't. I think they're they're they're, they're too worried that anything's gonna be abused that they put out, right? Um, Gravekeeper Spy that is super random. Um, I don't understand that one. Somebody might have to, you know, kind of attempt to make sense of that. I don't know why that's in here. That just seems like random filler. Uh, Stardust stuff. Rescue Rabbit's an interesting one. Um, 
I don't think that's had a reprint in a while, has it? I mean, somebody might be able to enlighten me on that one. I don't think it's been re reprinted. Uh, more ZW stuff, like... Okay. Scrap Twin Dragon. Cloud Castle's an interesting one. That hasn't had a lot of a lot of prints. That's got two printings. Um, kind of an interesting one. Um, you know, people have been putting that as, as random tech in their extra decks recently, I've noticed. It's not, like, crazy, but, like, it's kind of one of those, like, rogue things people were doing. Topia. Dolk is a good one. Um, that's not a bad one to put in. That's one of, like, the few, like, oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um... But, like, yeah. Oh, yay, Utopia Ray. Like, is anybody excited about that? Fortune Tune, I guess, is all right. People have been teching that a little bit. So, like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Infinite Cards. Rhoda, Warrior Turning Alive. It's 2004 again, guys. That's what Konami wants you to think. 2004. There we go. Pot of Duality. Pot of Duality. We're going to break the meta with one reprint at a time, boys. One reprint at a time. I. Right. And then, of course, there you go. There's your, there's your way to sell a terrible set. Lightning Storm, of course, available in Ultra Rare and Collector's Rare prints, so I guess there's the reprint that everybody's been begging and asking for, but, like, yeah, um, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed by this. Everybody had this really hyped up, like, oh, yeah, look, you get your, the Wicked cards, wow, um, like, that's random, like, hi, Konami, um, and I guess I'll be the one to say it. Still no crossout designator. Sag. Anyways, um, I'm not going to go too much on this. I just want to kind of go through really quickly for people who, who didn't really see this or didn't know. Kind of go through the new mechanic. I mean, like I said, I guess the you know the new the new Joker boss monster cards and the support cards are terrible. Like, I'm not bringing it to locals, man. But like, you know, it might be a fun deck to build and just like slam a few friends with. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy a few brewskis, I'm gonna play some games, um, yeah, as I always say, man, have a nice one, peace.